hello and welcome to the video cast so in this uh, lecture we will look at how we can uh, create reports in dynamic CRM okay so basically there are two ways in which we can uh, create in uh, dynamic CRM application one way is using the native uh, report wizard okay that will help you to create uh, reports very easily and second one way is uh, you can create SSRS that is SQL server reporting server service uh, you can use and create reports so once you use SSR technology or method you will create a RDL file okay your queries will be converted to RDL that RDL files you can uh, export to dynamic CRM okay so that that will become part of your dynamic CRM environment so let's have a look at how we can use a reporting wizard okay first goes to our CRM environment okay then go to sales okay under tools click on reports then we can see all the available reports ship along with the dynamic CRM okay we can see a bunch of uh, reports here like account distribution account overview account summary activities uh, campaign activity status and so on and so forth pretty much we have uh, 28 reports are here okay so once you open any of the report you will get an idea what is part of each report so here you can see the filtering criteria so this report is all about uh, accounts and opportunities okay so here the in this report the accounts are filtered using the criteria industry equal to uh, industry name territory is equal to a territory name is given and owner is equal to something name opportunity is again filtered by actual uh, close date is in last one year okay. so that is a filtering idea we have used to pull the record yeah so now we have the run report option here just click on it okay so it will pull the data from the CRM DB and it will show us the report okay so it depends on the data available in the system this is the report is showing okay it is showing the total revenue earned for all the accounts okay, and total average deal size is uh, five thousand seven seventy four dollars it's also showing a chart okay on end revenue also uh, the uh, number of records so since this is an online version of CRM and we don't have much data available we don't have much thing to see here okay and we have a also have a filtering summary over here okay it's showing statistics for top 10 accounts so this is a report which will show the total revenue as well as average deal size okay for the top 10 accounts in your crm organization okay so here we have other option we have a button called edit filter okay which will give us the option to edit the filtering criteria of the report given okay so so this is all about the reports okay now we have seen how we can edit the filtering criteria for report and where we can access that okay now let's have a look at how we can create a new report okay on the top left hand side we have a plus button here it's showing the tool to be showing create a new report new report record okay let's click on that one then then the window open would be the dynamic CRM report wizard okay so here is saying record type is equal to there are three types rep report wizard report existing file and link to one page okay so when you are creating a report using the report wizard we need to keep the default option that is report wizard report as the report type okay now if you are creating a SSR report and linking that to dynamic CRM then I need to use the second option existing file okay which will allow me to choose the file here okay so let's use the first option report wizard report okay and before we are going to furnish any of these details just click on report wizard that will open up the report wizard dialog okay so here we it is again asking you whether we need to go for a new report or start from the existing report okay let's let's keep the first option that is start a new report click next okay it will ask us to the report name let's say 
opportunity okay we can give a description here and then we need to mention the primary record type i'm selling it as opportunities and there is a related record type um, lookup is also there okay so it is not mandatory we can leave it as it is okay or uh, i'll i will select as leads okay qualifying opportunity so here i'm going to make a report on all the qualifying opportunities okay which are created in the last one month so we selected opportunity as the first primary uh, entity and uh, leads as the secondary or related entity okay so now here we can see leads and opportunities is showing here okay so we can mention the filtering criteria here it is already mentioned on filtering criteria modified on last 30 days here also opportunity also is showing so if i want to see the opportunities created created on okay created on last x days okay we can uh we can yeah using this option we can select a new row or hide in simple mode or you can delete so i'm going to delete it okay so now we have only one condition for opportunities created on last x days if i want to add one more condition i can mention that here for example if i want to mention created by one set particular person so i can select created by okay equals current user i can mention that okay so i put to this kind so this will be when i'm mentioning two conditions filtering criteria condition it will be um, combined as and using and so created on last 30 days and created by the current user that will be the condition here okay and we also have option to group as and by default it will be group and and group or okay for that i need to select these two rows okay and click on group or so it will be group or okay okay so that time it will be uh, pull all the opportunity records which are created last 30 days 30 days or created by the current user so i'm going to remove that or change it to and we have that option change it to and okay then click next okay so the next uh, step is to select the layout of the report okay so there are basically two options here click here to add grouping we can have grouping of uh, the records okay i'm just clicking here to add a new grouping so i will group this based on uh, opportunity so here we have fields like record type based on which record type we need to group the uh, records and on based on which column okay so i am going to created on date based on created on date i am going to group these records okay and also we can mention the sort ordering ascending uh, descend, ascending or descending column width also we can mention and summary type okay uh, data type is all uh, by default mandatory then we can click so created based on created on this uh, the record set will be group now the second option is to add columns what all the columns that we need to display in your report so here we have an option click here to add a column click there so by default here also we need to mention what is the record type and the column we need to have so i'm going to select okay here also we can select the column width okay I select first column as topic okay now i can i have an option to change the width for example if i need to change the width of this column so double click on this field okay, select the field and click on change properties okay so it will give the uh, edit column property window where i can change the width to 150 or any other so we can see the width is increased now click on the next column if i want to add a second uh, column okay where i will i can select not only opportunities or leads i can select the related of 
I mean uh, entity fields as well okay. for example if I want to select the account name of the particular account to which the opportunity is created so account is and related entity to opportunity in this case so I'm selecting account name or account number for that matter click OK so in this way we can add more fields here so I'm going to add a few more uh, fields here okay just like I am adding currency from the opportunity and I'm going to add a fourth one as lead okay what is the industry from the lead record and I'm giving a column width of 125 pixel click OK okay so now we have added the columns okay okay so now I can't um, move the columns okay I can change the order whichever way I can want then I click on next okay. next one is to select the format of the report I can just have a table in the report or I can have chart and table together okay I need to select here we have selected only table here and click next okay so it is showing the summary report we have uh, done everything so it is showing the summary here report name is opportunity primary record type as opportunities related record type as leads let's click next okay so now it is showing the status report has been successfully created okay, click finish okay so once the rep report is created just click uh, save you can just uh, click save and close if you want to close this report wizard uh, window or click on report trend report to see the report so here is the report we just created we have this uh, four column we had it created on topic account number currency and industries okay and these are grouped based on created on date so showing all the opportunities qualified opportunities which are created in March as well as April so the grouping is done and we have the columns also okay. so it is showing the filter summary here whatever you mentioned created on last eight days or created by the current user okay so so this is how we create reports okay now we have option to export this report as uh, different format we can uh, export it to XML or CSV PDF Excel or Word Okay, and all this for in export and we also have the option as we mentioned earlier to edit the fil filtering criteria by clicking on here again for the same again uh, follow the same procedure or run the report so see the changes and the last button here we have here is the refreshing button if you want to make the changes to the report you now to get the latest record we can click on our refresh button so this is how we make uh, report in dynamic CRM using report wizard okay so thanks for watching have a great day